All right, well, the director of Lulu Group, Mr. G.V. Anand, joins us for a quick chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Anand, for speaking to us. Uh, first question, tell us about investments in the state. Uh, you've been expanding very highly in India. Uh, so, tell us, give us an idea about how, what are the plans, especially for the state of Uttar Pradesh? Well, um, as you're all aware, uh, there was a delegation from the government of uh, Uttar Pradesh, which had visited the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, last month. We had a uh, lot of deliberations with our chairman, uh, Mr. Yusuf Ali M.A., and uh, we have signed uh, MOUs with this state uh, for uh, multiple projects within the state. As you're aware, we opened our first uh, shopping mall last year in uh, Lucknow. Uh, we are now poised to come up with uh, malls in multiple other locations within the state, namely Ayodhya, Varanasi, uh, Gorakhpur. We're also coming with a large uh, state-of-the-art uh, shopping mall and uh, hotel in uh, Noida. So all these projects are underway. Some of them have been finalized and uh, we're also into the food processing sector where uh, uh, we've acquired land in Greater Noida. The construction of that project has already started, uh, which will be uh, operational within the next 18 to 20 months. The shopping mall also would be starting uh, quite soon. So in the next uh, three to four years, you will see our presence uh, across the state of uh, Uttar Pradesh. For us, uh, as uh, Lulu Group, India is one of the key markets and within India, uh, UP is one of our focus states, obviously because of the population in the state and also because of the very proactive and supportive uh, government and governance that is there in the state. The Honorable Chief Minister uh, Sri Yogi Adityanath under his uh, leadership, I think we've seen uh, tremendous changes happening in the state and his entire team, whether it is all the ministers or the officials, bureaucrats and the government offices, everybody have been very, very supportive for us in all our uh, endeavors here. So we look forward to working with them very closely and uh, increasing our footprint here uh, in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Absolutely. You just also uh, signed an MOU in Karnataka as well. What are the other cities' plans except from UP and Karnataka towards northern India? Could you give us a highlight there? Well, as I said earlier, uh, we have India is one of our focus markets uh, for our group. So we will be expanding across the country. Uh, we'll be coming up in uh, Tamil Nadu, we'll be coming up in uh, Telangana, uh, and also in North India. So it's a it's a step by step. But I've been process. observing not very much uh, no good answer on North India. Is North India right now not in the pipeline, or uh, North India is not, is not <laughs> definitely there? It's definitely there. Yeah, we we are, we are coming up in MP. We 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 signed an MOU, uh, you know, last month in the uh, in Indore. Uh, there was a there was an investment summit. Our chairman has declared a project in uh, MP as well. We'll be coming up. Uh, with outlets in the NCR region also. Uh, we, we are an organization who believes in, uh, you know, doing uh, rather than just mentioning. So you will see a lot of our presence across the country very soon. Of course. So talking about the Lulu Group, uh, a global mammoth, and uh, uh, so uh, the India story we spoke about, how much investment amount uh, can you mention to us? Pan India is the program for the for the for the company. Well, as as you're aware, uh, India is a very large country, and uh, for the type of uh, business we are in, uh, it's it's uh, quite capital intensive. So we are in multiple formats. So depending on the potential and the requirement of the market, I think we will be deciding on the investments and no the board would be, well. no such number as of now, but uh, you are hearing figures uh, quite frequently, uh, you know, whatever declarations that we are doing. Uh, also, t tell us about one thing. Uh, the, the mall business is a very capital intensive business. It requires a lot of investment into, uh, into, into the land, building the real estate, and has to be at a good location as well. Uh, so uh, tell us about uh, what is the plan going forward? Uh, do you, how do you recover money when you buy such a huge piece of land and de develop such big malls which is equivalent to a two kilometer of kind of a floor? So how do you recover that money? Just a general question. Well, it's it's, it's a long term investment, obviously. So we've been in this business uh, for over uh, four decades. So the company is headquartered in Abu Dhabi and uh, we've been operational in more than 22 countries. We have more than 245 uh, hypermarkets and shopping malls across. So this is our business. This is something that we do. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, I think that gives us the confidence and, and the potential in the market here in India. You know, I mean, the bounce back after COVID we've seen has been phenomenal. So it gives us uh, encouragement and it gives us, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, an additional, uh, you know, uh, to move further. Well, thank you, Mr. Anand, for speaking to us. Thank you so much. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.